interviewing Brian Martin Shaw, author of Shaking Hands with Sir Paul McCartney. Brian, we just wanted to get your reaction to last night's Grammys. Now, as a music lover and a fan of Paul McCartney, how did you feel of the overall impact of the Grammys last night? I was disappointed. Um, there's no talent on the stage, in my opinion. There's no talent today anywhere. Um, I got an old ear for old music, and the Beatles still ring nice and true to my ear. But I like, uh, I like the music from the 60s. I'm an avid Beatle fan um, of 50 plus years now. And uh, all I do is hear this screaming and barking and howling and shaking your ass and girls grabbing the other girls' asses. And you got uh, young men out there. I'm not going to say they're boys, but uh, you got these young guys out there blinking their eyes like they're girls or something or just had their fingernails done. And uh, I just find it disappointing. I almost turned it off. I was just waiting for Paul to get on stage and then they did a major fuck up. Whoever didn't turn his mic and guitar on should have their fucking asses fired. Did a shitty job at the Grammys, and whoever is responsible for that blooper, you should have your ass thrown in jail. You got the man on stage, a major talent, a former Beatle, a musical genius, writer, composer, and you don't turn his mic on? That's an insult to every Beatle fan out there. I'm still pissed off about it. I think... Whoever did that on stage should be fired. And this guy uh, came, this, uh, this... Kanye uh, West. How yeah. do you feel about Kanye's performance last night? I'll say it like this. If I was in the audience up there, I'd probably be sitting next to Paul or behind Nancy or something. I probably would have jumped over Nancy's head, accidentally maybe poking Paul in the eye or something, beating his black ass till he turned white. I'm sick of his disruptive behavior and his narcissistic, look at me. All he is is one of uh, Oprah's bitches. I don't know who, he's, who, he, who put him up in this limelight, but he needs to go away. We've heard it said from several people that we felt that his performance last night was not only not up to par to be on stage with Sir Paul McCartney, but his personality is less than deserving of Grammy presence. Why is it that you think the Grammys still keep inviting him back? Well, he's uh, he's like one of the spoiled kids on the block. He's got uh, he's got big people with big money back and his spoiled little ass up. It's like uh, he's the the uh, the spoiled little kid in the sandbox that's got to have his own way. And if he doesn't get his own way, or if his friends don't get their own way, he's going to get up and scream up and down till he, till something, either the attention goes his way or till his friends get what they want. He's like a little kid. I have another question for you, Mr. Shaw. Last night was an unusual moment in the Grammys. Um, we're not used to presidential interruptions. Uh, now, can that. you tell me why is it that M President Obama feels like it's his place to take a segment, a piece of the Grammys, to make a political statement? He's an egomaniac. The president's an ego, narcissistic lunatic. Obama, I don't know, I didn't vote for him, but um, maybe he was jealous because Stevie Wonder was taking the show with Paul McCartney, I don't know. But uh, I don't see how politics and the big blast of Obama's uh, face being on the Grammys was uh, appropriate nor necessary. I think you gotta let the show go to the people that are in it and quit trying to stick your face on the cover of every magazine. I think he needs to concentrate on what uh, China and Russia and everybody's doing with their economy and put people back to work here and quit trying to look like a movie star. For one, the man's too ugly. Uh, anyway, if, there, if anybody should be on TV with their face, from my day, it should remain the Beatles, Muhammad Ali, somebody of good luck, you know what I mean? Well, how long have you been a, a Beatle fan? been a Beatle fan since 1964. I was seven years old. Okay, now, Sir Paul McCartney has made a lot of appearances with other recording artists. Now, some of that, I think, is absolutely wonderful. Where would you tell him to 
stop doing that. Why would I tell them to stop doing what? Recording with other artists. Oh, today's artist? Yes. Um, for one, who he's mixing with, they're, they're, uh, they're out of his league. And uh, Paul McCartney, in my opinion, is 10 light years away from today's generation. Um, I don't know, for me, I'm 58 years old. Um, I was born when Paul's mom died. I sort of like feel linked to Paul on a personal level. Like when I go to the concerts, I'm going to scream out until he hears me. I guess I'm like the jerk that keeps running up on stage for attention. I demand Paul's attention. Hello, love me do, I'm here. Russia, blah, blah, blah. I got to get his attention. But it's because I love him and I just want him to know that. Well, in one aspect, you'd have to agree that it takes a great musician to be able to keep up through the generations with today's music and be able to compete in today's industry. Not only does Sir Paul meet the expectations of today, but surpasses it quite a bit, don't you think? Like I said, Paul McCartney, to me and to a lot of other Beatles fans, I think there's about probably 10 million of us left on the planet that are still alive. No, probably a lot of us probably passed away, but um, Paul is in a category all his own. So is Stevie Wonder, um, Smokey Robinson, who I met back in uh, the 80s when I was a bouncer down there in Hollywood. And uh, Motown, the Beatles, and the music from the 60s and early 70s, you're not going to see again. They're, they're either dead or dying, too old, but the town today is all, fuck you, fuck you, I want to kill your mama, I want to kill your brother, fuck you, fuck you, eat shit and die, that kind of bullshit. Not going nowhere, it's a fad, it's going to fade out, Beatles are still on the radio 50 years plus later, they're going to be on the radio for another 150 T Z A B C D F G H I K all these bullshit uh, names out here. Here today, gone tomorrow. One hit wonders, and uh, it's gonna go out like the flat top haircut went out in the sixties. Well, Mr. Shaw, thank you so much for your time. Would you like to have any closing statements with this interview today? Yeah, Paul, do me a favor. Next time I go to your concert and I'm screaming. Love me do, look to the right. I'm at, that was me at the right, screaming, love me do, blah, blah, blah. I know you heard me. I, I don't know if you see me or not, but I was in that booth with the big mouth again. Anyway, we love you, and uh, don't, play, don't play music with these yo-yos. Forget it, man. We love you. You're top notch. We love you. The world loves you. And uh, all these other people that are trying to be good, I wish you luck, but... Uh, I don't think you got it. I think the Grammys suck. I almost, like I said, I only watched it because I was waiting for Paul to get on. And uh, that's all I got to say.